Dr. Rachel Rubin. I am a board certified urologist who is fellowship trained in sexual medicine. And I'm here to tell you that the term vaginal dryness is killing women. I mean it, it's actually killing women. What do you mean, Dr. Rubin? How is the term vaginal dryness killing women? Well, we minimize the term vaginal dryness. When women come to our office and complain of a little vaginal dryness, or they don't even come to our office to complain of it because the doctor can't be bothered with a little vaginal dryness, what they don't understand is that this little vaginal dryness is really something that's called genitourinary syndrome of menopause. And they don't know that because they've never heard of it because probably you've never heard of it either. But in 2014, we changed the term vaginal dryness and vulvovaginal atrophy or atrophic vaginitis, we changed the name to genitourinary syndrome of menopause or GSM to make it short and simple. So GSM, what does it mean? Well, it's not just a little vaginal dryness. It turns out that all of the genital and urinary symptoms from menopause just get worse and worse and worse over time. The bladder, the urethra, the vagina have lots of hormone receptors in it, including estrogen and testosterone. And when the body no longer makes those things, the system doesn't work so well. So there are genital and urinary symptoms that just get worse and worse over time without treatments. So unlike hot flashes, which tend to go away, GSM does not. And so what are the symptoms? Well, they're sexual. So yes, a little vaginal dryness, pain with sex, worsening orgasm, but there are also genital and urinary symptoms that really also get worse. So they may have itching, burning, irritation, a rawness, an awareness of their genitals that they never had before. And as a urologist, we see frequency, urgency, leakage, and the thing that kills women and does kill women is recurrent urinary tract infections. In in fact, did you know that UTIs account for 7 million hospital visits annually and 25% of all infections in older people? In fact, apparently a third of the total Medicare expenditure is around urinary tract infections together. This is costing our healthcare system an enormous amount of resources and money by not preventing urinary tract infections. Did you know we've had safe and effective treatment options for GSM since the 1970s? Really, vaginal hormones have existed since the 1970s, but we're using them for pain with sex and not for GSM. In fact, data shows that by using vaginal hormones, we can prevent urinary tract infections by more than 50%. We can save lives using safe effective local low-dose vaginal hormone strategies. And they are pretty much safe and effective for all of our patients at in peri and post-menopause. So there are five different options that you could use. You can use vaginal estrogen inserts, vaginal estrogen creams, vaginal DHEA, low-dose vaginal estrogen rings, and there is even an oral pill option called Osfina. All of them are used to treat GSM, and all of them will only work if your patient actually uses it and continues to use it. These treatments are safe. They are effective. They do not increase your levels of systemic hormones in your bloodstream. I have many breast cancer patients who use uh, these products as well. Um, the only one you may want to talk to your oncology colleagues about is the patients on active aromatase inhibitors, but we have to understand that urinary tract infections kill people, and having GSM is debilitating, often uh, requiring pain medication because it hurts to sit, it hurts to wear pants, um, and our patients' quality of lives are severely affected. So please consider learning how to treat genitourinary syndrome of menopause. It turns out you don't have to do exams. You don't have to do follow-up. You can give these therapies and they can use them for life. Now, if your patient has vaginal bleeding, of course, they need to see their gynecologist. But this is something every primary care doctor can do and should do. As a urologist, we prescribe a lot of Flomax for our patients, our male patients, to help with urination. Vaginal estrogen or DHEA is basically Flomax for women, but it prevents urinary tract infection and actually works like Viagra because it can help orgasm and help pain with sex. So you have access to affordable, safe, effective treatment options to treat GSM. Uh, so check it out and hopefully change the world.